Hello vlog, welcome back to another vlog. First of all, I'd like to say thanks for our over 150 subs on my Essence vlog. Like that's really like made my month. That's such a great way to um end the month of September. So shout out you lot and yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Really made my day, really made me happy. And if you're new to the channel, I create a uh, fashion and lifestyle content, basically me going around doing a whole bunch of malarkey, buying a whole bunch of not necessarily useful stuff, but stylish stuff, and then showing them to you guys and giving you my honest opinion, my takes on it, and then the lifestyle stuff, I go to cool places, and then maybe give you some inspo. But yeah, let's we'll get into the vlog. So today's vlog is wish list based. So this is my full and uh, for winter wish list basically so basically all the stuff that if i won the lottery i would cop this for winter but i haven't won the lottery so i might cop some of this stuff but not all of this stuff so yeah let's get into it but to start off with this one's a bit like it's not it's not like i can't cop this but it's just one of those you don't necessarily want to put the peas down yourself for it and that is the furry Birkenstocks yes I'm a Birkenstocks dad mm -hmm. <laughs> I've already got a pair of normal ones so I know I really like the Birkenstock uh, Boston's so the next step is to get a furry pair just to be comfy in the fall because you know when you're kicking it and you're not really doing stuff like I wear joggers majority of the time it's just nice It'd be nice to slip onto a pair that's fluffy, you know. I already slipped into a nice pair. But I think if they was fluffy, it would feel a lot nicer. But again, those aren't really an arm and a leg. So maybe I'll be around the bush and get them. But it's still like hundred and something pounds, so and I'll, I'll put a photo here guys so that you guys can see. Ta -da! Right, the second item on my list. If we're talking, if we're sticking in the realm of footwear and stuff, I've got two more footwear things that are like I, I really want. Uh, the second item on my list are these Nike Comme des Garçons Air Max Sunder. Now these are still at Dover Street Market. The retail is incredibly high, but I feel like in full winter, it's nice to have an all black trainer that you um that you can just be and still look nice and it's it's just nice because uh, if you know you know it's one of them trainers if you know you know it, it doesn't really scream anything it's not really that loud i'm not gonna lie i'd like the white and black pair as well but i think for full winter the all black pair is just it's just so neat retails 280 ouch like 280 pound it's not it's not killer but it's still not uh, you know it's not not everyone can put that down on a trainer. Is it worth it? Will I cop? Find out at the end of the month. <laughs> but yeah, if, if uh, anyone's working at Dover Street Market and you know you happen to see this, can, can you sort me out a little? That's on my wish list, right? Item three wish list is sticking in the realm of footwear. It's Bottega Puddle Boots. Now I was recently in Montreal I went to Essence, I've tried these on now, and I love them still. Like they're not everyone's like cup of tea, but I feel like for winter, you need a boot. And to be honest, they're the only kind of boots that I'm that drawn to. I'm not really a boot person, but it kind of does make sense for winter having a boot. And yes, some people are gonna say, but they're rubber and they're plastic and blah, blah, blah. But then I f I'm like, well, you can go jumping in puddles then like you can clean them easily there's some benefits to it so um I, I think they're fire i think a lot of the colors of them are fire uh the money for them the money for for what they are for a plastic shoe i don't know i'd have to really really be feeling good to actually cop out you know and get them because the money when i do think like oh it's a plastic shoe if it wasn't a plastic shoe i wouldn't mind spending the for 400 on them or 400 and something on them but 
because it is plastic at the end of the day that's the only reason why i think that cost is kind of crazy but yeah next item and in the realm we're moving up into the realm of trousers for this fourth one fourth one i tried these on again in montreal in essence i've tagged the vlog above me or something i'll leave a picture here i actually am scared because i think these are now sold out everywhere in my size i tried these on it was fire and those are the rick owen geff jeans i just think the silhouette of this I, i'll leave a bit of b-roll here but i was in love i was in love with these pants so i'll leave some b-roll here but i just think the silhouette the fit of them the, the level of quality their fire do i think they're worth the hefty price tag yes i do because i feel like you, you'll get them and you'll always always wear them you can actually like i think you can put them in with everything casual fit dress them up working stocks smart shoes it don't matter these pants are fire and i just hope 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 that i can get a pair in the future without having to go on grilled and getting absolutely hammered for price by one of you grilled people that like to charge us lovely people extortionate prices hey, fifth one i think i think so the fifth item on my wish list are these drees van noten navy cotton cargo pants now these the silhouette is kind of similar to the, the rico and geff jeans which is why I've been drawn to these. I actually haven't seen these in person. I think these are literally just dropped this full winter and they just look so clean. Like I love that kind of, not flared out, but straight cut silhouette. Like I just think for my style, it, it sits really well. I don't really get um, drawn towards the slimmer stuff as much anymore, but I do like this straight cut flared out. And I think with the trainers that I have and the shoes that I have, it would all just piece together so nicely so definitely watching trees and norton and the rest of the stuff that you drop in because the latest fall in the collection looks fire in my opinion so. right the sixth item on my list is a brand that has been storming up like just i feel like it's just blazes the scene in terms of knitwear in terms of just popularity in terms of growth in terms of that borderline feminine masculine wear and that is Marnie. And you know, when someone says Marnie, there can't be Marnie without anything mohair. So the sixth item on my wish list is the Marnie mohair cardigan. Now, I just think on the model, it's fire. I don't know if it will be real fire until I try it on, but it just looks, all their, all their knitwear just looks so clean and they just make mohair look so luxurious and just, I, you can't really fault it like it's, it's just fire it's fire so that's definitely sick for out on my wish list and again i think it'd be perfect for full winter because that is when you tend to layer a lot and you might not necessarily put a jacket on top of that but you know you're going to be wearing t-shirts you're going to be wearing stuff underneath and that's just a nice extra layer on top so then that's perfect speaking of layering in the winter this seventh item on my wish list is i just think cherry on top and that is the type 2 denim jacket from our legacy stussy and denim tears those three brands are just fire all on their own and for them to come together and make a collaborative piece such as this i just think it's fire like it's fire yes it's it's hard to put like 300 down on a on a denim jacket where like, when i think about it i'm like yikes but again, like their pieces are known for just skyrocketing in price if you want to get them, you know, after they've been sold out. So maybe if this is on your wish list too, I think they're still in stock right now on Denim Tears and a few other retailers. So if this is on your wish list too, I would definitely, if I had the piece, cop right now because once they're gone, you're going to get charged an arm and a leg if you ever want to get that as a collector or something else. But for full for, for full winter denim jacket is perfect like if you get it a bit oversized you can bang the hoodie underneath if you don't get oversized you can still wear your tees you can still wear a scarf on top of that like for layering for full autumn denim jackets are definitely like a good piece of just having your rotation in my opinion 
eighth item, right? The eighth item on my wish list. Now this item is an item that actually come out, I don't know if it's last year or two years ago, but it's actually from Jacques Mousse. I have nothing from Jacques Mousse, but I really like his work. I, I think it's um, very feminine in terms of the pieces that he creates. Like I think women's wear that he creates is immaculate. Like it's so clean and it flatters their silhouettes amazingly. Like on all women that wear Jack Mills, I don't know, it just sits so well on their bodies. The men's stuff, a lot of it I do like as well, but sometimes I think in terms of will it fit in with my wardrobe, I think sometimes the clash of it being so feminine and my wardrobe is tends to be some of the pieces I get, not all the pieces, but some of the pieces I get are very masculine, like very straight, cut, uh, sharp edges kind of thing. So um, that's why I haven't bought anything from it recently, but this uh, brown knitwear polo, that's what it's called. Apparently it's a brushed knit and nylon polo. I saw this two years ago. It was clean then and it's still clean now and actually, He's brought it back in an even better color, which is like a um, creamy brown with a nice little blue undertone. So I just think this is fire. I just think for the full winter, if you was rocking this, I'll probably be living in this. Like I'll probably wear it to the shop, <laughs> wear it to the cinema, wear it everywhere. Like I just think this piece is fire. The price for it, ugh, ugh, killer, like 450 pounds for a polo ouch 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 but the creativity and the craftsmanship in, in this in this polo is it's definitely worth it like in my opinion everyone's got their own opinion but i think it'd be worth it if you had the doll so yeah right so the ninth thing on my list is actually an accessory that i've had my eye on for a while but like most things on this wish list the flipping money for it is just it's, ugh, it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy crazy doll it's crazy doll you know like and yeah, but that is the Bottega padded tech cassette messenger bag. Now, Bottega, this, mate, this bag is just, it's flawless. Like I really, I really want this bag. But at the same time, this bag costs more than a Ramoa suitcase. This little bag costs more than a Ramoa suitcase. I feel like as a tra frequent traveler, if I had that money, I would probably be better off buying a Ramoa suitcase and using that every time I travel than using this bag but this bag is fire and it would be lovely all year round but especially like I feel like in fall winter that's when as you start to layer people also start to accessorize a bit more so that's when accessories come into play a lot 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 more but yeah if anyone wants to plug me give me a nice little deal they both take a PR people and a, you know be watching this video hit me up and send me a let's sort your boy out you know what I mean you help me <laughs> right so the last and final thing on my wish list for this video also let me know if you guys want a part two but the final thing on this uh wish list this video is something that everyone should have in in the full winter yeah I don't have one and I not never had one. My mum used to buy me them all the time, but I would just lose them and I would just wouldn't keep them that well. And that is scarves. Now everyone probably knows the one I'm gonna say, and that is the classic Acne Studio scarf. This is on my wish list, but at the same time, I don't know. It's not, but it is because it's one of those. It's not that it's that expensive because you cop it one time and you look after it, but. At the same time, how many times do I personally like to wrap something around my neck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would personally get wears out of it. I think if I got it, I'd probably wear it a lot in that moment for like that month. I'd be like, yeah, I can studio scarf. Like, this is lit. But I don't know if I would. Obviously, yeah, you only need to wear it for the winter. That's what you guys are going to say as well. You don't need to wear it forever. But what I mean is, I don't know. I don't know, maybe an Eloise get one to share because I don't think I'll personally gravitate towards it a lot. She goes into office a lot more. So maybe she would like wear that on the tube and the train. Me personally, I think sometimes I get so hot as well, like body temperature wise. I don't really think that 
wrapping something around my neck necessarily. Anyway, I'm just waffling now. But yeah, this is my um that was my wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, thanks so much for the subs, like it actually means a lot. And uh I hope to carry on growing this channel. Let me not know if you guys let me know if you guys want another segment like this or you know, just my wish list in general or maybe we can come up with our own segment like our dream cops or something like that. And uh yeah, hope you guys take it easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you guys have a good week as always. So peace and love. See you next week.